Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to go over five simple and easy DIY crafts you can make out of wine bottles. Here we go. So for the first three, you're going to be doing the same process. You'll need a wine bottle cutter as seen here. I'll have the link down below and you're going to score your bottle at your desired height. So what that means is you can adjust your score line to be higher up the bottle or lower. And once you have your score line where you want it, you will then put it in cold water and hot water back and forth. Um, and that is going to kind of shock that line, that score line and make it crack. And you want to have consistent heat and consistent cool around the entire thing to get a really nice crack every time. If you use something that puts heat on one point specifically like a a flame and you leave it in that one area too long that can kind of crack the glass where you don't want it so this gives a nice consistent heat all around the entire bottle and gives you a nice clean crack so for this first example I decided to cut the bottle lower because this is going to be a wind chime so then I use some sandpaper and water to sand the rough edges and I use the water because I don't want any glass dust to get in the air and me breathe it. Once that is sanded, I tied some twine. As you can see here, you can use a chain if you would prefer or any other type of rope. And I have a few little accessories here that I'm gonna be using. I have a wooden bead that I will string on and this is gonna keep the twine from going all the way through the wine bottle, right? It's gonna be a stopper kind of in the, the neck of the bottle. So I will tie a knot below um, that and then I will string on my kind of decorative pendant. I bought this one actually at Walmart you can find them online on Amazon or any other kind of bead and jewelry store or in places like Hobby Lobby Joann's, that sort of craft store. So as you can see, the bead is acting as a stopper at the top and then the pendant will be dangling at the very bottom and you wanna make sure you get it in the right position so that when the wind hits it, it will uh, kind of knock against the glass and make that wind chime noise. So once I found that spot, I tied it off and made a knot. And then you need something that's going to hang below that to give some weight so that the wind will catch that. And that is what actually makes the pendant go back and forth and hit the wine bottle, right? So I just used another one of those wooden beads to uh, serve that purpose at the bottom. You can get fancy with this. You can use all sorts of different things. I've used rocks in the past that I have drilled holes in. Uh, you can use another pendant. Really, uh, you can get creative. You can wire wrap rocks. There are a lot of different ideas you can use, but essentially that's the idea for this first project. For our second project today, we are going to be using this beautiful vibrant green bottle to create a drinking glass. So again, we're gonna be using the glass scorer to create a score line in our bottle and just use consistent kind of firm pressure as you are turning your bottle to create a nice crisp score line. And once you have your score line, you will then alternate in hot and cold water. And again, to remove any sharp edges, use some sandpaper with a little bit of water and just kind of polish those edges smooth and you can go from a rougher grit of sandpaper to a finer grit to really polish that off especially for this project as it will be a drinking glass and you want the edges to be nice and smooth and here is the final product for this one our third project for today is a planter using a wine bottle so again, in this one, we are going to be starting by scoring our wine bottle with our scoring tool and then alternating in the hot and cold water. That is the method that I have found just works the best and is the most consistent for me. If you have um, another method that works good for you, leave it down in the comments below and let me know and I'll be sure to try it. So this footage was actually from a different project and as you can see, it's not the same wine bottle, but it is the uh, same method either way. And once you have that done, 
you will use a Dremel or some sort of a drill that can drill a hole in the side because you are going to want drainage since this is a planter. If you're not able to add a drainage hole, you can always add some rocks at the bottom or use plants that prefer to have wet feet. Uh, that way they don't rot, so maybe a succulent would not be the best idea if you don't have drainage holes. Um, but as you can see, the Dremel tool works really well, and the duct tape is there just to kind of keep the Dremel tool in place and not sliding around everywhere, because that would mark up the edges. So I did end up doing two drainage holes, and I did wet sand it like I did in the previous projects. And I used a gloss uh, Mod Podge just to give it a little bit of an extra shine at the top and a finished look. And here's the final product for our third project. Now on to project number four. So this project, you aren't going to be needing any Dremels or any wine bottle cutting tools, anything like that. You're just going to need your wine bottle, some copper wire or some type of wire or twine or rope that you can use, some scissors, and then the hummingbird feeder attachment, which I will link down below. So essentially um, what I did is I used two lengths of the copper wire, folded it in half, and then twisted it around the top of my wine bottle. And what you're gonna wanna do is every so often, you're going to twist them around each other to create kind of a mesh that will hold the wine bottle in place. So go down a few inches and take two strands and twist them over each other and then um, continue that process all the way down and you will kind of create this mesh of wire that's holding your bottle in place and you can add beads if you want and really jazz it up like that. You can even add more strands to make it look more intricate. It's sort of like an easy macrame type of situation. Once you get to the end of your bottle, you will wrap two of the strands together and make a loop at the top for hanging. The only other thing you have to do is fill it with your hummingbird nectar and then put it outside and watch your hummingbirds enjoy it. So for our final DIY for the day, we are going to make a succulent planter out of wine bottles. Um, two different styles, but the same method, and it's gonna be a little bit different than the method we used earlier for a wine bottle planter. So I use this product called Instamorph. I really love it, it's pretty awesome. You heat it up and you can mold it into any shape you want and when it cools off, it stays in that shape. Uh, so essentially, I used about a 1 4th cup and you put it in uh, hot water, it doesn't have to be boiling, and once it turns translucent, you can take it out, as just make sure it is not too hot to the touch, and you can mold it around the item. So like in this example, I'm molding it over my wine bottle to sort of make a jig for my drill to easily be able to drill holes in the wine bottle. So I just molded it over the bottle and let it cool down, and this is how it turned out. And then I drilled a hole into this, and these drill bits are awesome. They're diamond tip drill bits. I bought a set of them online on Amazon, and I'll have that link down below. I use them for uh, glass, ceramic, even rocks I've drilled through. Um, they're very useful. So you're gonna want the size of the hole you're gonna want for your succulent. So just make sure you're able to like fit a succulent stem through it. So this is sort of like the medium size that came in my kit. So I drilled my hole and then you're gonna want to submerge it in just enough water that it is covered because you don't wanna be breathing in any glass dust. And as you can see, you're able to hold the piece of plastic with the wine bottle and easily drill a hole. So for this first one, I drilled three holes in a row on one side of the wine bottle. And for the next one, I wanted to drill holes all the way around the wine bottle so it can stand up as a centerpiece on a table. And I think total I did 12 um, of these holes so that it could fit 12 succulents. So for the first one, it is meant to lay on its side and you're gonna need something to act as feet. Uh, to keep it in place. So I cut a cork in half and then hot glued it to my bottle, but I would recommend E6000 instead because hot glue does come off glass pretty easily. Then the only thing left to do was fill the bottles with soil and then add the succulents. And here is how these two turned out. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope I inspired you. I hope you go out there and upcycle something, whether it be wine bottles or anything else. Please let me know in the comments below which was your favorite from today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.